In this interview, we will dive into what Black & Veatch stands for as a company and the fascinating background of its chairman and CEO, Mario Azar. Azar being just the eighth senior leader in the history of the company will give us some insight about what he's most currently passionate about achieving in this role and how Black & Veatch looks to evolve over the coming years. Hi, my name is Christy Corville and welcome to A Moment With. So how did you get your start in business and what was your inspiration? I have to say it was my mother. My mom started a business that many women did not do back then. And she started a business as a beautician and in a town in where I was born, Syria, where even globally and in the US in the 60s, not a lot of women were entrepreneurs. And so it's her entrepreneurial spirit, her courage, is what kind of was my inspiration to be a business leader. That's fantastic. What a, what a wonderful role model. Yeah, I couldn't think of a better role model. My hero is what I call her. I'm sure you watched her overcome plenty of obstacles in your journey. What are some of the main obstacles that you've faced to get to where you are today? So at the age of 17, moving to the U.S., and starting a new life in the U.S. Sometimes when people just judge you right away before they even know you and kind of assume who you are and what your background is or what even your beliefs are, uh, that's a challenge. Even though my family had the financial means to support my education, there was a change in law in Syria where transfer of money was no longer allowed. Oh my. And so overnight, just I think it was the beginning of my sophomore year, I got that call from my mom in tears. I can imagine. Saying, I cannot send you money. I want to, but I cannot. And so literally overnight, I had to decide whether to stop everything or completely be on my own. And that led me to start working to pay for my college and did all kinds of jobs from bussing tables to waiting on tables to eventually bartending and working at night, going to college during the day. And uh, as hard as that was, I think it's probably the best thing that happened to me. And it's also part of what shaped who I am today. So all these obstacles to me, our growth challenges that got me That's to where I am. Wonderful today. way to look at it, absolutely. Yeah. Maybe another challenge was more self inflicted, where I continued to make changes in my career. So I kind of knew very early on where I wanted to go, and that was, you know, kind of more general management, broader leadership. So I knew to get there, you gotta build your blocks and mm -hmm. even though i started as a quality engineer in a factory i knew i couldn't just do that so i kept doing different things and taking on challenges that others didn't want to take and kept moving and that took me eventually to china that took me eventually to germany uh, and doing different things within the business that allowed me to kind of build these blocks as your business began to become more successful with the building blocks in mind, how did your leadership sort of change with that? Leadership is a whole different thing. And leadership is really gets more into, you discover the power of people <laughs> and you discover the power in motivating other people to then be their own uh, selves and leaders and, and think and innovate and contribute, kind of self-driven. And, and that kind of graduates in a way to kind of leading more through culture, leading more through strategy, what I would like to call leading through leaders. And that's how I would say my leadership journey has evolved. Creating them as their own leaders. Right. kind of builds the team. I like that. Yeah. Like that. And you know, Black & Veatch, really, we, we're a company of people. We create solutions to challenges uh, in the inf infrastructure space. And so we do it all through people. For our company and in, uh, in our business, 
really motivating people and having clear strategy, focus, you know, all built on very strong foundation of culture. And this is what I love most about Black & Veatch is our culture is really how a company like ours really succeeds and excels. So. That's wonderful. How do you see your business evolving in the short term and well, the long term as well? We decided we're not gonna build coal fired power plants anymore. And we actually decided that we're gonna shift our portfolio and power more towards renewables. And that's driven by more focus, awareness uh, globally uh, of climate control and the need for sustainability, looking after our planet, if you will. And so that's one example of market shift and us adapting. Another example is in 22, we launch a new sector for Black & Veatch. We call it commercial connectivity and industrial. And we realize that, first of all, the world is changing. For example, online shopping becoming a trend and what people like to do. When you want your package in a day or two, that doesn't just happen. There's a lot of things that have to fit in place logistically to make it happen. And that includes infrastructure. We started to expand into the commercial sector. And that's an example of what I'd call short term adaptions. In the long term, I would say innovation and evolution. And, you know, Black & Veatch is now a 108 year old company. That's incredible. It didn't get here by not continuing to evolve. And so we're going to continue to evolve and we're going to do it through innovation. We have great minds at work and we want to continue to do things faster, better, smarter. That's really the long term vision to continue growing the company and keep it relevant for hundreds more years. Absolutely. I have no doubt that that won't be the case. <laughs> yes, absolutely. The more diverse your talent is, the more people feel included. Uh, that's how you could innovate. And so diversity, equity, and inclusion to us are much more than just a term or a catchphrase, it's really a goal for us to get the best talent we can get and sustain evolution and innovation. What has been the single biggest change in the industry since you've started? Sustainability, I would say, has been the biggest shift in the industry. And that's also shifting now towards some new frontiers, like hydrogen as a fuel instead of gas. And we have been working on hydrogen and focusing on hydrogen as the next fuel, if you will, of choice. Uh, today, Black & Veatch is building the largest hydrogen production and storage facility in the world. Wow. And, and so that's also driven in a way by sustainability. The other one is more focus and need for resiliency. So things like cyber attacks are things we read about and hear about more often than we would like that really requires resiliency in, in infrastructure. You don't want your power to go out uh, because of a cyber attack or for your water source to be sabotaged or for the internet to be cut off. And all these are real threats today, sadly. And so resiliency becomes really uh, another major shift in the industry. What never shifts is that you have a client. You always have a client and you always need to understand what your client needs. Mm -hmm. That's how a company continues to be successful and evolve. And that hasn't shifted in the industry or in business in general. Let's talk more about what really drives business into the modern age. Some companies have disappeared because they just did not evolve and they did not embrace technology. We don't want to be one of those companies. Technology, I would say, has been the biggest driver and will continue to be innovation, evolution. I like that. So again, touching on change, we can say one consistent thing is that change is going to be consistent and being able to evolve the needs of the world is really what keeps Black & Veatch going. That's incredible. Absolutely. Change will always be there. 
The only question is, do you become one who drives change, leads with change, or one who follows, or one who doesn't really accept change? And that's really the only question. We want to be the ones who lead change. Yes. Do you ever take the time to really take stock and reflect on everything that you've achieved? I probably don't. <laughs> and in a way, maybe it's a good thing because it keeps me going. It stops me from being complacent and kind of saying, I've arrived. I don't think you ever arrive. You always got to keep learning and evolving yourself. Uh, but my kids and my wife and other people often remind me and it feels good. Our people here at Black and Beach often also recognize what I do and recognize what each other does. And what's even more important is to recognize and we do recognize the impact we make on the world. That's a wonderful outlook to share with others. Well, Mario, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down and speaking with us and teaching us more about Black and Veatch and your journey. It's been incredible. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to do it.